I should not have closed the uh, the terminal window. So let's reopen that back up and get back in as root. Um, if we do a u limit u limit dash a, we'll see that the max files that can be opened at a time are 1024. That'll be a problem with uh, portal install or some of the portal configuration. Uh, it will open more than the, the default setting for Linux, so we need to change that setting. Uh, so to change that setting, we want to change directory to etsy slash security. Se security. And we need to change some settings, or actually add some settings to the file limits.conf. Uh, so I'm going to use vi. Um, if you're not familiar with VI, you can find some cheat sheets on the uh, internet. Basically, we're going to come down in here and add a line. So if you click I, it puts it in insert mode. Uh, what we need to do is add uh, settings for the, no f or the number of files opened. Uh, and basically, this is set up in the, the, uh, the factor of the first thing is the user. If you put a star, that means it's for all users. So we'll set it up for all users. Uh, the first one will be a soft. The soft limit. Sorry. Uh, soft. And the setting is no, no files for number of files. And the value we'll go with is 4096. And then asterisk the hard no file we will make this uh, 10 to 40 so that should give us enough uh, enough open files that will successfully be able to install portal and do the configuration that we need to do uh, so hit escape colon right quit or WQ for right and quit and so we've made that setting uh, the other setting we want to make is to the Etsy host file. So change back to Etsy directory. And basically what we want to do is set up a fake domain name. Uh, Portal doesn't like being installed to just the IP address. Um, so we'll just set up a, a fake entry. It'll look like any domain name, but it, it's what we'll use, uh, at least when we're on the virtual machine, to connect to the portal. So there's a host file in here that's there's too many files, but if we just do vi hosts, um, and what we want to do is sort of make a copy of this line. So and we could actually use that, but we'll just make another one. So insert. So I again, 127 using the loopback address, and we'll just do my portal. Dot portal. Dot com. And so now we'll be able to use that as like a, a fake internet address or host name for our portal. And right quit. Um, the other thing we might as well do is view the updates here and just get all these updates. Otherwise, it's going to prompt us all the time. And go ahead and say apply updates. and now it's going to download and install all of the updates. This again can take several minutes so at this point I am going to pause the recording of the video and will rejoin once the updating has finished. Okay so the uh, updates have successfully completed so we'll hit OK on this. Oops, okay. And let's just go ahead and reboot now. Um, so again, while this reboots, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording of the video. And I will be back in just one second. All right, so the reboot has completed. And you'll notice the screens are quite a bit bigger now. It's because of the, uh, the settings that we put in on the, the VMware tools for the resolution of the screen. Uh, let's go ahead and log in. And you should notice now that your, your mouse doesn't get trapped like it was before. You can just mouse in and out without any problems. 
All right, so we've got sent OS all set up for, for how we want it. Um, the next thing we need to do is go back to our install files. And so for the portal install files, we have all these zip files in the one tar file. Um, the next step we're going to need to do is unzip all of these or uncompress. Uh, I'm using 7-zip. You want when you're doing this, you want to go ahead and extract it so that the directory name is the same as the current file name. So for 7-zip it's going to be extract to this czud4ml. Um, go ahead and, and extract all of the, uh, the compressed files and I'll pause the video while I do that and so I'll be back in just one second. Alright, so the uh, I've finished uncompressing all the zip files in that one tar file. The next thing we need to do is to rename the directories to um, the proper installation disk names. And those installation disks were shown on uh, the download page from the website. Um, so if you don't still have it up, open, open it up, or let's see if I can just zoom in on it. Uh, and you can just view it off the uh, the video. Uh, basically, what we need to do is here is the the, the directory name now off of the uh, the zip file, and what we need to do is change it to the actual installed disk name that the installation program is going to look for. So in this case, we need to find the directory czud4ml, which happens to be the top one, and we need to rename it to whatever it is with the il. In this case will be IL setup. Um, the IL is for Linux. I know the W is for Windows installation. I'm not sure what just the plain I is. Probably I series. Um, so we'll rename this directory IL setup. Um, so then we find CZUD7ML. We're going to want to rename that IL6. CZ UD7ML. Oh, that's the zip file. This directory. So go ahead, I'm going to pause the video again. Um, rename all of the directories following this pattern. And I again will pause the video. I have finished renaming all the directories for the, uh, the installation files for WebServe for Portal. Now what we need to do is get these directories back over to our virtual machine. Um, so here's our virtual machine right here. This will work. You can drag and drop from your host machine into the virtual machine. So just go ahead and highlight the files that we want to move. So we want to move all six directories and then just drag it over uh, to the virtual machine. You'll see an icon for a second that says it's you're not allowed to take any action or that you can't drag or drop, but it should change into the icon like it is right now. Uh, once you see that icon, that like how it's shown right now in the video, go ahead and release it, and it'll start copying the files over. Uh, and this is going to be another process that's going to take quite a bit of time. So for the tenth time here, I'm going to go ahead, pause the video, wait for all these files to copy over, and then I'll resume the, uh, the installation of WebSphere Portal on our CentOS virtual machine.